What a sight that massive plume of smoke could be seen for miles this morning, even visible to passengers on board a plane flying into PDX. That huge fire tore through an abandoned Kmart in Northeast Portland. Thanks for joining us for Queen 6 News at 11. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola, and this is just the latest in a string of vacant building fires to burn in Portland. And tonight, we're looking into what's being done to help mitigate that risk. And digging deeper into this tonight, our Joel Jones is now with the latest from city and fire officials. And this is all concerning too, Joel. It really is, Liz. And while the cause of this fire is still under investigation, Portland Fire says their crews found evidence of people living inside that abandoned Kmart. Also, our records show this is at least the seventh vacant building fire to happen here in Portland this year. It's just one a month. So come on now. Averaging one a month, Portland Fire and Rescue responded to the latest blaze to break out from inside a vacant building. This time, the four alarm fire came from an abandoned Kmart at the intersection of Northeast 122nd Avenue and Sandy, which had been closed for years. So we had some impediments and some difficulties with this particular structure with the robust fencing and property control attempts. Uh, along with the distances of the hydrant. Rick Graves with Portland Fire and Rescue tells us in an effort to keep squatters out, the building owners set up security measures that made it difficult for fire crews to get in, including eight foot cyclone fencing around the property perimeter, fences and cement barriers lining 122nd. But the fence was still able to be penetrated and people were still going obviously inside this structure. Again, we didn't see anybody leave. We have no evidence that anybody was in the structure and started this, but certainly that's on the mind of our investigators as they're going through the process of establishing cause. And this is just the latest in a string of vacant buildings to go up in flames. Our records show this marks at least the seventh serious fire at an abandoned building in Portland just this year. When we have an abandoned building and we're suspicious or suspect or expect it's going to burn, we pre-plan our actions. Graves tells us the former Kmart did not meet the requirements for the city's unsafe building list, but says their prevention team is constantly assessing those structures to prevent fires like the one in Northeast Portland today. If that structure has been compromised, the security has been compromised, he'll then reach out to both Bureau of Developmental Services and the owner and say we've had a compromise, we need to make this situation a little more robust so that we don't have somebody on the inside starting a fire that maybe we saw today. And the Bureau of Developmental Services tells us a permit for demolition was being processed for the building before this fire broke out. Portland Fire is asking anyone with information about this to contact them at 503-823-FIRE as they continue to investigate this blaze. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.